So let's dive right into the fascinating history and evolution of dog sleds. These incredible modes of transportation have been crucial in Arctic regions for centuries and hold significant cultural value for various indigenous communities. Dog sleds, also known as sledges or sleighs, have been used for thousands of years by the indigenous peoples of the Arctic. These communities, including the Inuit, Yupik, and Chukchi, among others, have relied on sled dogs and sleds for transportation, hunting, and resource gathering in their harsh snowy environments. It is believed that the use of sleds and dogs for transportation dates back to around 2000 BCE. These early sleds were made from materials readily available in the Arctic, such as wood, bone, and animal hides. The sleds were designed to glide smoothly over the snow and ice with the help of teams of sled dogs that pulled them. Over the centuries, the design of the sleds evolved to better suit the needs of the people using them. For example, some sleds were made to be more maneuverable, allowing them to navigate through tight spaces and around obstacles. Others were designed for speed and efficiency, making it easier to cover long distances with minimal effort. The use of dog sleds also had a profound impact on the cultural identity of indigenous Arctic communities. Sled dogs were not only essential for transportation and hunting, but they also played a vital role in the spiritual and social lives of the people. Dogs were often considered family members and were treated with great respect and care. In addition to their practical uses, dog sleds have also served as symbols of Arctic culture throughout history. They have been depicted in various forms of art, such as carvings, paintings, and even as motifs on clothing and other items. These artistic representations of sleds and dogs help to preserve the cultural heritage of Arctic communities and remind us of the long-standing connection between humans and their sled dogs. In summary, the history and evolution of dog sleds are deeply intertwined with the cultural identity and survival of indigenous Arctic communities. These sleds have adapted and evolved over thousands of years to suit the needs of those who relied on them. And they continue to be an important part of Arctic life today. Now that we've covered the history of dog sleds, let's talk about the stars of the show, the sled dogs themselves. These amazing animals have unique characteristics that make them perfectly suited for their important role in Arctic transport. We'll discuss their physical capabilities, training and care, as well as the different breeds commonly used in dog sledding. There are several breeds of sled dogs, each with their own unique traits that make them well suited for the harsh Arctic environment. Some of the most popular breeds include the Alaskan Malamede, Siberian Husky, Samoyed, and Canadian Eskimo Dog. These dogs are known for their strength, endurance, and ability to withstand extreme cold temperatures. Sled dogs are typically strong, muscular animals with a thick double coat of fur to keep them warm in frigid conditions. They have incredible stamina, allowing them to pull heavy loads for long distances. In fact, a team of sled dogs can travel up to 100 miles in a single day, depending on the terrain and weather conditions. Training sled dogs is an important aspect of their role in Arctic transport. These dogs are usually trained from a young age to respond to commands and work together as a team. Mushing, the term used for driving a team of sled dogs, 
requires a strong bond between the dogs and their handler, as well as clear communication and trust. Training techniques can vary, but the most important aspects are consistency, patience, and positive reinforcing. Caring for sled dogs is crucial to their health and well-being. A proper diet and regular exercise are essential to maintain their strength and endurance. Additionally, their thick fur requires regular grooming to prevent matting and to keep them clean and healthy. It's also important to provide proper shelter and warmth, as well as regular veterinary care to ensure the dogs remain in top physical condition. In conclusion, sled dogs play a vital role in Arctic transport and their unique characteristics make them perfect for the job. The different breeds of sled dogs each have their own strengths but all share a common ability to thrive in harsh environments. Their proper training and care, these incredible animals continue to be indispensable assets in the Arctic regions. All right, let's shift our focus um, to the construction of dog sleds themselves. We'll take a look at the traditional and modern materials, design, and construction methods, as well as how technological advancements have influenced their performance, durability, and accessibility. Traditional dog sleds were made from materials that were readily available in the Arctic, such as wood, bone, and animal hides. These materials were lightweight and flexible, allowing the sleds to glide smoothly over snow and ice. The sleds were often rashed together with rawhide or sinew, which provided a bit of flexibility and shock absorption while traveling over rough terrain. Over time, the design of sleds evolved to better suit the needs of the people using them. Some sleds were made to be more maneuverable, allowing them to navigate through tight spaces and around obstacles. Others were designed for speed and efficiency, making it easier to cover long distances with minimal effort. With the advent of modern technology, the materials used to construct dog sleds have changed dramatically. Today, many sleds are made from lightweight and durable materials like aluminum, fiberglass, or plastic. These materials are not only lighter and stronger than traditional materials, but also resistant to the harsh weather conditions of the Arctic. Modern sled design has also seen some significant advancements. For example, some sleds now feature adjustable runners to accommodate varying snow and ice conditions. Others have shock absorbing systems to provide a smoother ride for both the musher and the dogs. Additionally, the use of quick release mechanisms allows for easier and safer handling of the sled dogs during breaks or emergencies. The advancements in materials and design have led to improved performance, durability, and accessibility of dog sleds. Lightweight and durable materials allow sleds to be more efficient, reducing the amount of energy required by the dogs to pull them. These modern sleds are also more readily available and affordable, making it easier for people to participate in dog sledding activities. In conclusion, the evolution of dog sled construction has come a long way since the days of wood and bone. Technological advancements have greatly improved the performance, durability, and accessibility of these sleds making them more efficient and enjoyable to use in the Arctic environment. Now that we've discussed the history, sled dogs, and construction of dog sleds, let's explore the various ways in which dog sleds are used in contemporary society. From recreational mushing 
to competitive dog sled racing and their continued use in remote Arctic communities. These sleds continue to play a significant role in modern life. Recreational mushing is a popular activity for both tourists and locals in Arctic regions. Many people enjoy the thrill of driving the team of sled dogs through the snowy wilderness, taking in the breathtaking scenery, and experiencing the unique bond between humans and dogs. Dog sledding tours and expeditions are available for all experience levels, from beginners to seasoned mushers. Competitive dog sled racing is another exciting application of dog sleds in modern society. The most famous dog sled race is the Iditarod Trail Sled Dog Race held annually in Alaska. This grueling 1,000 mile race tests the endurance, skill, and teamwork of both the mushers and their dogs. Other notable races include the Yukon Quest, the Finmark Sloptet, and the Hudson Bay Quest. These races not only showcase the incredible capabilities of sled dogs and their handlers, but also help to preserve the traditions and techniques of dog sledding. Dog sleds continue to play a vital role in remote Arctic communities. Where other forms of transportation may not be feasible due to harsh weather conditions and lack of infrastructure. In these areas, sled dogs are still used for transportation, resource gathering, and even delivering essential supplies like mail, food, and medicine. They are also often used by researchers and scientists to access remote areas for field work and data collection. In conclusion, the applications of dog sleds in contemporary society are diverse and essential. From recreational mushing and competitive racing to their continued use in remote Arctic communities, dog sleds remain an integral part of life in these regions. These various uses not only highlight the versatility of dog sleds, but also help to preserve the rich history and cultural significance of this ancient mode of Arctic transportation. As we wrap up our discussion on dog sleds, it's essential to consider the environmental, social, and ethical implications of their use. We'll delve into the potential impacts on the health and welfare of sled dogs, as well as the ongoing efforts to promote sustainable and responsible practices within the dog sledding community. From an environmental standpoint, dog sledding is considered a low impact and ego-friendly mode of transportation, especially when compared to motorized vehicles. Sled dogs can travel across snow and ice without causing significant damage to the terrain, and their use helps reduce the reliance on fossil fuels in Arctic regions. However, the social and ethical implications of dog sled use revolve primarily around the health and welfare of the sled dogs themselves. Ensuring the proper care and treatment of these animals is a top priority for the dog sledding community. This includes providing adequate shelter, nutrition, exercise, and veterinary care to maintain the dog's physical and mental well-being. There have been concerns raised about the treatment of sled dogs in some racing and commercial contexts with allegations of overworking, neglect, or even abuse. These issues have led to increased scrutiny of the industry and calls for improved regulations and oversight to ensure the welfare of the dogs involved. In response to these concerns, various organizations and individuals within the dog sledding community have made concerted efforts to promote sustainable and responsible practices. This includes implementing strict guidelines for the care and treatment of sled dogs, providing education and resources for mushers, and advocating for stronger regulations to protect the animals involved. Another aspect of ethical dog sledding 
involves the preservation of indigenous cultural traditions and promoting respect for the deep connection between Arctic communities and their sled dogs. By raising awareness of the historical and cultural significance of dog sledding, we can help ensure that these practices are not only sustainable, but also cherished and respected for generations to come. In conclusion, while there are environmental, social, and ethical implications associated with dog sled use, ongoing efforts within the dog sledding community aim to address these concerns and promote responsible and sustainable practices. By prioritizing the health and welfare of sled dogs and respecting the cultural traditions that underpin this ancient mode of transportation, we can continue to celebrate and appreciate the incredible world of dog sledding.